good and morning you guys long time no see um so i'm starting with the vlog today it is saturday it's um i don't know the date june 25th i think um so a lot has happened in the last like month or so i wanted to kind of hop on and give a little like life update um so first things first we officially listed our house on the market and we have some showings coming up we've been doing like a lot of work around the house so that's probably a lot of what this vlog is going to be um it's just like getting some stuff done around the house i have a whole list here of things that i need to get done so i'll show you that here in a little bit but i just wanted to say hi give a life update um i don't even know where to start so yeah we put our house on the market um, we've had some showings it's been on for a couple weeks and the market is kind of starting to slow down a little bit so um it's been kind of a roller coaster of emotions for us um so yeah we're in the process of selling our house um number two i did buy a new vehicle um we paid cash for it it was super cheap and it was a really good deal but then we started driving it and it shakes really bad so I have an appointment to get it put in the shop on July 12th and then hopefully it will be up and going for um, when I have the baby because I do need something bigger. I have an Equinox right now and it's just not quite big enough. Um, Bristol and Liam are both still in booster seats and then I'm going to need an infant car seat and just it just won't fit so um, I did have to get a new car. It is a Chevy Uplander, which isn't anything like fancy or anything, but one, we paid cash. Two, it has really good miles and it's good on gas and um, it'll fit all my kids comfortably. It's not, they're not gonna be squished or anything. So we're happy with that. Um, along with that, my pregnancy is going along very, very well. Um, I will be, 29 weeks on Tuesday we I've had some problems in the past I have really small babies and my doctor um, when I had Liam didn't you know monitor that at all he just kind of let it happen and um, so when I switched doctors for when I had Bristol um, we noticed that she was having some problems growing so they monitored me a lot um, I had a bunch of ultrasounds and like non-stress tests just to like measure her heart rate and stuff she was healthy she was just really small um but the problem is i have not very good blood flow to my placenta so the baby doesn't get all the nutrients that um, they need but this pregnancy as soon as i found out that i was pregnant i started taking the supplements that she suggested to me and i think that that has a lot to do with it and also the fact that I'm older and I'm able to control my stress levels a little bit more. Um, so anyway, they were monitoring me. I had an ultrasound um, at my 20 week appointment and everything was great there. And then I had an ultrasound this last week at my 28 weeks and baby is perfect. She is right on track. We're actually measuring a week ahead. So they did change my due date. I'm now due on September 6th and baby is already um, measuring at three pounds, so which is awesome because my babies, Liam was 5'8", Bristol was 5'3", so she already, I think she's gonna be a normal sized baby and I'm so excited about that because I've been so worried um, that she's gonna be small and small babies are just harder to deal with. They just, you have to be more fragile and so anyway. Um, but yeah, baby's healthy, pregnancy's healthy, I'm healthy, everything is going along just great. Um, so yeah, I think my husband switched jobs, um, which, you know, our whole house process is really, it's been stressful, but at the same time I have the mentality that, you know, if it's meant to be, it's going to be. So we just kind of let things happen. You know, people came looked at our house, they didn't like certain things about it and they just kind of moved on. It's been kind of annoying the things that they don't like, but at the same time, like, we don't have any control over that so there's no use in stressing about it um but my husband did get a new job we aren't sure if we're going to actually buy after we sell this house or we're just gonna rent for a little bit we're still like deciding we're still looking if something does come up that we're like yeah that would be perfect we're gonna go ahead and go look at it we looked at a couple but they've just not been what we wanted um so we're still open to looking but anyway, he got a new job. We checked with our lender 
and we made sure that before he accepted the position that it was going to be okay for our loan and she said everything was a-okay there so he went ahead and accepted the position it's better hours it's more money the benefits are better so yeah he switched jobs i'm still with my job i don't plan on leaving for at least until after i have the baby um but yeah there's just a lot going on right now <laughs> so it's been pretty busy it's been stressful but we are making it so anyway let me know how you guys are doing with everything grocery prices are expensive gas is crazy expensive um so anyway we're just kind of trucking along um but I wanted to show you my to-do list for this for today. I'm gonna to try to get all of this stuff done today. And then tomorrow we're gonna to be working outside. Um, you need to like move some stuff around and I do what I can, you know, I'm seven months pregnant, so I can't do like a whole lot, but I am doing what I can and my husband is supportive of that. So anyway, let me turn you around. I will show you our to-do list for today. And then I need to go get groceries. We have a showing at 10, 15. It is now 8:45, so I've got to go get those groceries, get them home, and then I've gotta get out of the house. So. Let me show you how to do this. Okay, so this looks crazy, but I promise it's not as bad as what it looks like. So um, I have some outlets in the laundry room I need to get switched out. I have, Bristol has came in the kitchen with some um, markers, so I need to get a magic eraser and clean that up. Um, we have a couple pieces of tile on our kitchen counters that need to be replaced, so I need to find that tile. I'm pretty sure that I kept it, I hope I did. Um, and try and find that so I can put that on. There's a kitchen outlet that needs to be um, replaced, like the cover on it. And then there are some nail holes in the kitchen here that I have um, hung up curtains with, so I need to cover those up. Um, our bathroom, when you go from the living to the hallway to the bathroom, doesn't have a threshold, um, so she suggested that we get that. So I need to measure for that. Bristol's room, the same thing with the magic eraser. Um, USDA has now required a carbon monoxide detector, so I got one of those. I need to install that. Also, um, we have a smoke alarm missing from our hallway, so need to get that replaced. Um, our bathroom in the master bedroom, I'll show you here in a little bit, but um, there is a part that, like the closet, doesn't um, close off to the bathroom, so people were complaining that there was no privacy in that bathroom, even though there is a door there. <laughs> so we're going to um, rig up something to help that. And then we, when we replaced our carpet in our bedroom, we did not have enough to replace it in the closets. So I need to measure for that. I think we're just gonna do carpet tile and call it good because um, USDA requires like um, the flooring to be consistent. It doesn't have to look the same, but you do have to have flooring um, and right now it just has the carpet padding. So anyway, and then just like normal stuff, I need to unload the dishwasher and I've got some loads of laundry to do. So anyway, that's what's going on this weekend. I've got to get going to get these groceries and then we will come back and get started with our day. Okay, I am back home from the grocery store. So I figured I would show you guys really quickly what we got for the house. So I just got um, this globe light for our kitchen. The fan that we have here right now is too heavy and it's starting to come out of the ceiling. So we're just gonna go back to the globe light and it was only like ten dollars so it's a quick and easy fix also got some wood filler for the um, nail holes in the kitchen like i said we needed a carbon monoxide detector so i got that we'll install that um, there's some holes in the bathroom that i need to get covered up so i just got two of these which is what our realtor suggested to do so i got those and then for the privacy in our master bathroom which i'll show you here later on um, I decided to get a sheer panel and then just a little tension rod. So we'll put that in. And then we have to replace some screen. Um, so I got this, I don't know, fiberglass screen. It had good reviews, so I'm hoping that it works. And then we need to replace some light bulbs around the house. So I got some of these and then some of the daylight light bulbs. I love the daylight ones. I just think it makes everything so much brighter. So that is what we got. I need to put away these groceries and then I've got to get out of the house. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. So it is about nine o'clock in the morning. We woke up and I went ahead and got dressed, washed my face, brushed my teeth, all that good stuff. Um, my husband um, left for the gym about 15 minutes ago. Um, so I am just in the kitchen making some breakfast. 
we, I'm gonna make some breakfast burritos. Um, and hopefully have some to freeze. So yesterday, I don't remember exactly when I left off with you, but I went to go, when I left the house, I went to go pick up my kids and then on my way home, my car overheated like to the max. So I had to pull over, we sat for like 30 minutes and I was probably like two miles from home. Um, we had to sit, wait for it to cool off and then after 30 minutes I turned it back on. It was still super hot but I called my husband and he's like just drive it home, get there as fast as you can, it'll be okay. So. By the time I got home, my car was smoking and I was like, you know what? I'm done driving this car. Like I'm not gonna fix it. It's not worth it. Um, we've already put so much into it and not getting anything in return. So um, I'm not driving that car anymore. Like I said earlier in the vlog, my van, which is my new vehicle, is going into the shop on July 12th. Um, so hopefully after then I will have a reliable vehicle. But right now, um, my grandma's gonna let, let me drive her car. It's just, you know, back and forth to work and taking Liam to school and all that stuff. He's still in summer school um, until my van can get fixed, which thank goodness that my grandma's letting me do that. That's such a weight lifted. Um, so we have to go get that today. And then I did do some um, repairs around the house yesterday, just like outlet covers and I put up that curtain in the bedroom, which I still need to show you what I was talking about. Um, and then I tried to, or I did some wood filler too with like nail holes. Um, I tried to change light bulbs, but I'm just not tall enough. And you're not, when you're pregnant, you're really not supposed to be reaching over your head anyways. Um, so I tried and it really didn't work. So my husband's gonna help me with that today. Um, and we're just gonna do some repairs around the house. It's supposed to be like really rainy and gloomy today, so we're not gonna be like playing outside or anything. My pool yesterday, um, it did clear up, thank goodness with that shock. My mother-in-law suggested that I put bleach in it too, so I'll probably do that at some point today. Um, I need to put away some laundry, I need to put away the dishes, and I'm gonna assemble some uh, breakfast burritos. So yeah, we'll just come along with the day and see what happens. <laughs> I, I don't know, this weekend has not went as I planned and after um, my car acted up yesterday, I kind of just got in a mood and was like, I'm done with today. So anyway, we're starting fresh today. Today's a new day, so I'm cooking breakfast. I'm gonna get some coffee and we're gonna start a new day. In the shadows of where we been Sleeping with your back face me Cause now 
couple days later, but I figured I would go ahead and show you what all we got done. So this is the kitchen. We ended up switching out that light. Um, there was a fan there, but it was too heavy for the ceiling. So we had to put in just a regular light to make it safe. And then we put light bulbs in there. And then over here in the laundry room, um, we replaced this outlet cover here. And then we also replaced that outlet cover. We still need to put trim back on this door and this door, but the trim pieces are broken. So we have to go to Lowe's and get more pieces. Um, let's see, what else did we do? In the living room, we also replaced this. Um, <clears throat> we didn't replace the whole light, but we fixed it because the pole chain in the middle, when you turn the light on, um, Liam had broken that. So we had to go up in there and turn the switch on. And then now the light switch just controls the fan and the light. So fix that. And then what else did we do? Bristol's still sleeping, but we replaced her fan in her room as well. That was broken. Um, our bedroom, the light is the same way. Um, the pull chain in the middle was broken, but my husband was able to fix it because the chain was still up in there. So he just um, put a new chain on there so we can control the light and the fan separately. So fix that. Also, I wanna show you guys this, what I was talking about with the people complaining. So this is our bathroom in the master bedroom. It has a door, as you can see, but this closet right here, when you walk in, so like this is the view from the door. Um, you can see that there's like an opening right there and people were complaining about that like so much. Every person complained that there was no privacy from the bedroom to the bathroom. So our realtor just suggested that we get a curtain. So that's what I did. This was like six bucks and then like a tension rod. So that's what I did. I got a tension rod and a curtain and hopefully no one else will complain. So. Yeah, I feel like we did more than that. We did some work outside as well. I feel like we did a lot more than that, but we ended up doing some work outside as well, which I'm not gonna show you. Um, and we just did like some general cleaning. Our realtors, um, they provide a service that they will come and clean your house for you. So up to like their standards, cause I mean, I didn't think my house was that dirty, but when they came in here and they started cleaning, um, I could really notice a difference. So that was awesome. Um, so as far as deep cleaning, I don't have to do that. And yeah, so our house is like ready to go on the market. I mean, it is on the market, but it's ready to be shown some more. Um, it's been like a really stressful process because we are learning all kinds of things about our house. And good morning, honey. He's um, with grandma. How are you feeling? Do you need a potty? She's been sick, so she's starting to feel a little bit better, but anyway. So yeah, the house buying process or the house selling process has been very, it's been some trying times around here. Me and my husband are, we're not like, at each other's throats but we're definitely more stressed i'm more stressed he's not as stressed as i am but um i definitely am with just like everything else going on <laughs> so anyway i'm trying to keep calm but i wanted to show you all of our updates around the house so um yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog i feel like it's long enough sorry it was all over the place but that was our weekend so i hope that you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new here please subscribe other than that i will see you in my next one bye guys